Holy Father, Heavenly King, why is the world full of such selfishness and greed? Why have people forgotten how to love each other? How to reach out to each other in love and kindness? To put the needs of others above their own needs and desires? I find it hard to walk amongst the world, my Lord. I find it hard to live amongst those whose hearts are hardened to the needs of others. Grandmothers no longer care about their grandchildren. They are too busy running around in the world enjoying all it has to offer them. Brothers and sisters are lost to each other. Where once there was love, I now see only contempt and hatred. Where once a family would rally around each other in love and support, I now see only busy, preoccupied people who do not have time for love or generosity or joy. I see the little children suffering from lack of love, from those in their own families. Why has the world become as this, my Lord? Why have so many hardened their hearts to love, to compassion, to generosity with their time and joy in their grandchildren, their nieces and nephews, their own children who have grown and left the nest? Is it right for a parent to walk away once a child reaches a certain age? Is it right not to have an active role in the life of your grandchildren? I do not understand the ways of the world, my Lord. I do not understand why our grandparents have made their lives so full of things to do, that they are missing out on their own families. I cannot fathom the reasons why anyone would not want to be a part of their children's lives, why they would not want to spend time with their families, why they would not want to see their grandchildren grow, why they do not gladly offer their time and love and support to their children. What a blessing it would be to live long enough to see your children happily married, to see the gift of life spring forth from your own child, to see your children bring forth their own children, to be blessed enough to be alive to see such things, my Lord, to live long enough to share in the joy of your children's children is beyond my imaginings, a blessing beyond measure. Yet so many take this wonderful gift for granted. So many do not care for all you have laid out before them. So many have hardened their hearts to love and focus only on their own lives, on their own joy, on all that brings them pleasure from the world. What good are these people to you, my Lord? What good are they to your holy kingdom? So many of them say that they are in you. They go to your churches. They pretend to be full of love and pious in all ways, yet they have no love in their hearts. They have no generosity in their spirits. They cause more hurt than joy in the lives of others. They create only wounds in the hearts of their children and grandchildren with their selfish ways, their greed and single-mindedness. I do not know how to reach these people, my Lord. I do not understand why they are as they are, why they have closed themselves off as they have, why they refuse the love of all you have so graciously given unto them. Help me to be more tolerant with the world, my Lord. Help me to understand why these people are as they are, why they cause so much pain in others, why they are blind to your love, to your truth, to your divine and holy purpose. The world is full of selfishness and greed, my Lord. The people of the world have turned their backs to love. They have become self-focused and full of their own needs. Help me to live in the world without being affected by it in this way. Help me, my Lord, to love all I meet, even if I feel no love coming from them, even if they hurt me and let me down, even if they devastate my children by their lack of love and kindness, by putting their fun and good times over the tender feelings of a small child full of innocence and love. Help me not to be bitter towards these people, my Lord. Help me to be a guiding light to them, to show them the way to the light of your holy kingdom, to show them the truth of you and your mighty ways. I love you, my Lord, with all I have, with all I am. You are honorable above all things. You are glorious above all the world's glory. Nothing can compare to you, my Lord. Nothing can compare to your power and majesty and love. I adore you and praise your holy ways. With every breath I take, I love you and praise your holy name, now and forever. Amen. Holy child of mine, I see your sadness at this time about these things. I see how disappointed you are with those around you, those who are shirking their responsibilities in this life and taking for themselves all they can lay their hands on. The sin of selfishness and greed has entered the hearts of all men. All have sinned and fallen short of my glory. All who make the world their master, who lust after all the world has to offer, who go out in the sole purpose of good times, are of the world and not of me. They have been blinded by the devil and are operating under his laws. So many come before me and worship every Sunday, but do not know me. They walk out of my church and back into the world without giving what I have shown unto them a single thought. These people have not come to me heart and soul. 
They have not surrendered unto me. They do not love me with all they have to offer. They love the world. They love their own independence. They love doing as they please, when they please, without having to give a single thought for another. These people are lost in the world, my child. They have been ensnared by their own greedy desires, by all that a devil can offer them. They have lost sight of what it is to love, or what it is to give of themselves to others. They believe that their time of giving is done. Even if they have never given to a soldier in their lifetime, they convince themselves that they have done their bit, and that it is now okay for them to have fun and forget all those they love. What a great disappointment it is for me to see people acting so callously to those who love them, to have forgotten the joy they felt when their child was first laid in their arms, to have forgotten what it is to be a child, to love and worship those around you, and how crushing it is to be rejected by them. They have forgotten what it is to love my child. They turn their families away from them by refusing to let them in, by refusing them the love they so desperately need. It is through the rejection of others that you receive rejection from others. It is through selfishness and greed that you lose the love and respect of those around you. It is through the neglect of those who love you that you will receive neglect from them. When you are in the winter of your life, when you can no longer run around as you do, when you can no longer find pleasure in the world as you do now, when you are lonely and afraid and in need of the love of your family, will they be there for you, my children, or will they treat you as you have treated them? with complacency and neglect. I am telling you to be kind and loving and generous to your families now, to give unto them your time, to offer them your assistance, to find the joy you once had in them, and to fill their hearts with the joy of your presence. If you have been blessed enough to still be on the earth when your children's children arrive, then you should rejoice with great praise and thanksgiving. You should treasure these precious little ones of mine as if they were your own, for they come from your flesh and your blood. Bring love and joy into the lives of your children. Help to ease the burden of all they are faced with as these precious ones arrive. Make yourselves useful and loved in the lives of your families. You have been blessed greater than anyone on earth if you are looking into the eyes of your children's children and given the opportunity to love them and to receive the unconditional love from them that they so innocently offer unto you. Do not throw away all I have offered you, my children. Do not lose the love of your families by being selfish or greedy or full of the world. Accept every blessing that I offer unto you with praise and thanksgiving, or you will lose it all in an instant and spend the winter of your life lost and alone, and wondering why your families are not around to comfort you and help you in your time of need. You reap what you sow, my children. If you sow love and kindness and are generous with your time, then you will receive all these things when your time on the earth is nearing its end. But if you sow selfishness and greed, if you are not interested in your children's lives, if you are not willing to offer a helping hand, to offer unto them your love and support, to be kind and loving grandparent to those I have blessed you with, then you will reap the rewards of the world, which is a life of loneliness, fear and regret. Heed all I say unto you now, my children, and your lives will be full of love and laughter. Do not allow the world to become your master. Do not allow the devil to steal from you all you love and cherish. Stay in me and my words, and I will be in you. I will guide you in all you do. I will keep you in health all the days of your life. You will never be alone, for I will be with you always, comforting you and bringing you my peace. If you come before me on Sunday, enter into my holy dwelling, stand before my children in praise and worship of me, then do so with a pure heart and contrite spirit. Do not come before me half-heartedly. Do not come before me assuming that your eternal destination is set just because you enter through my holy doors once a week at your convenience. You must surrender before me heart and soul. You must make the Lord Jesus Christ your Lord and Master. You must walk in me as I walk in you. I will not tolerate falsehood, my children. I will not tolerate those who are lukewarm or who come before me just to be on the safe side. Love me with your whole heart and soul. Honour me in all you do. Worship my son Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth and go out into the world shining forth the light of my glory before you. Love and you will be loved. Give and I will give unto you. Share the wisdom of your years with those who love you. Be generous with your time and when you are frail and unable to do all you do now, others will be generous with theirs. This is the way of my holy kingdom, my children. This is the way I wish you to be in your lives. Be as Jesus was on the earth. Love as he loved. Be compassionate and merciful to all you meet and keep my words of truth always before you. This is the word of the Lord your God who lives and abides forever. Heed my words will be lost. 
Heed my words, or I will not know you on the great day of judgment that is about to befall your world, and you will be lost to me forever. I love you, my children, now and forever. Amen.